Hi, Tino here to some State of Decay 2 updates, referring to the update 18 and Planner Packer already did a video on speculation about the upcoming update a few weeks back and told you that they'll do a stream about this on Monday the 22nd, but some people didn't believe me. Now see what you got. They retired the Trumbull Valley Pack this coming week when they released the Planner Pack, but that's old news, the Bounty Broker info already told and I also did on my recent video about this topic. Furthermore, they'll add a green zone and share two pictures on their official Twitter page. I already told you in my last update video about this patch that they may add mostly around 9 bounties, but with more focus on new clothing types and some Sea of Thieves inspired rewards and weapons because it's a pirate game. So maybe a curved pirate sword and a rapier or a hook is a close combat weapon and a rifle or something. Or maybe a small low capacity pirate pistol. But what's even more interesting is the new green zone announcement. I followed and watched the whole stream last Monday and they answered several questions in the stream chat mostly about faster vehicles and fixing the aggressive non-stop shooting on the watchtower. I blend you in the screenshots I've taken for those who still don't believe me. Taken from this in the name Green Zone, which I doubt that'll be a new difficulty mode like Standard Red and Nightmare Zone, I think the developers might draw attention to our environmental problems and climate changes, some type of economical update. It may sound ridiculous, but what I mean by that is, faster but less noisier vehicles which also have a higher fuel efficiency and results in less fuel consumption. It may also refer to adding more green and color saturation into the game because in my opinion the Juggernaut Edition Looks, in my personal opinion, less good compared to the old version despite having better graphics and more realistic shader and sun reflections, but it lacks green, blue and yellowish color shades, so it often just seems a little bit bland. Another possibility and only speculation I had was a fifth and new leader type they'll add, some type of biologist or natural scientist with a new facility that provides more food and meds and has right from the beginning more provided units like the hydroponic, some type of research lab that allows us to take samples from different kind of zombies just like the poison gland from the plague bloaters in Heartland and it allows us to increase the immunity to blood plague for the whole community and has some permanent zombie manipulation benefits just like the sand block or the Z-Eye, but not 100% copy and pasted. But this is just a far stretched fantasy and nonetheless Green Zone may just stand for a fourth new game mode with custom made difficulties like setting the amount of play cards to something between Standard and Dread compared to Nightmare Zone because for many people the gap between Dread and Nightmare Zone is too big by Nightmare Zone being often unfair or just too unbalanced and for some people it's often too quiet and not deadly enough. I would also like to have around 25 play cards instead of 17 or sometimes 18 I get on Nightmare Zone and more balanced loot and especially better loot after defeating hordes and especially play cards. But I gotta be honest, new video, completely dedicated to loot instead of decay 2 is in work and I'll release it tomorrow. I'll release it 6 hours before the stream starts and then we'll get the official announcement by the developers. So I'll stop right here with the speculation and ask you to please leave me yours down in the comments. I thank you a lot for watching, stay healthy, have a great day, goodbye.